in version 3.3, two brand new artifact series oh. will become available. So travelers should be sure to check out the corresponding domain. Woo! More artifacts! Okay, right. tell me. I hope travelers will have fun experimenting and trying new combinations. Okay, 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 okay. Let, let's look at these, okay. Desert Pavilion Chronicle. Animal damage bonus 15%, okay. When charge attacks hit opponents, the equipping character's normal attack speed will increase by 10%, while normal charge and plant attack damage will increase by 40%, okay. Literally every animal DPS is gonna want that. Like, Shao wants that, Paizo wants that, Skara wants that. I don't th I don't think uh, Feruzan wants that, though. Nah. Oh, maybe? Oh no, it's the equipping character. She's not on field, so she'd want something else. I'd say Feruzan would probably want, like, maybe Noblesse. Um, yeah, I don't think she'd want- what would Faruzan want? She wouldn't want no. she wouldn't want VV, she wouldn't want- because you're doing anim animo damage, you're not shredding. Um, she wouldn't want VV. She wouldn't want maybe, hmm, maybe just like energy reach. Maybe, maybe like a two-piece set of like two different things. EM maybe Wanderers. We'll see. We probably have to wait until the uh, TC has figured that stuff out. But um, Flower of Paradise Lost increases elemental mastery by eighty. Okay. The equipping characters Bloom, High Bloom, and Burgeon Reaction damages are increased by forty percent. Okay. Additionally, after equipping character triggers triggers Bloom, High Bloom, or Burgeon, they will gain another twenty five percent bonus to the effect mentioned prior. Each attack lasts for ten seconds, and you get max full. And it can be triggered off field. That sounds broken. Dude, that just makes Kuki better and Nilu better, which are already bonkers characters. What the f- Wait, no. No, that sounds too good. Wait, no, I'm kind of concerned. <laughs> Wait, no, Bl Bloom's also a, already a really good reaction with, like, Gilded. Like, I- 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 I'm kind of concerned. Like, isn't that- doesn't that feel too good? Doesn't that seem too good to be true? Like, I- Mmm. You gain another 25 bonus to the effect mentioned prior. Okay, is that additive? Or multiplied? Okay, like, is that 40% plus 25%, so 65%, or is that 25% of 40%? So if you get max stacks, is that going to be 140% extra b bloom reaction damage, or is it going to be just 80%? That's what I don't really get. Is it going to be that? Is it going to be that? Or the other? Because, uh, yeah, they will gain 25% to the effect mentioned prior. So, 40%. So, if you max stack that, it's 100% of that. So, 100% of 40%, 40%. So, you're doing 80%. That seems more likely to me. Because 140%. That's... That, that's crack. Like, dude, like, ne ne my Nilu already does 30k blooms. Just, just without, like, buffs. Right? 140% extra bloom damage, that's insane. I'm gonna chuck that on Toma 100%. I want my Toma to be like a Burgeon God. The Chad Burgeon Toma. <laughs> we'll see though, it, it depends like how it's mathed up, but that seems like a really cracked set. I'm definitely gonna farm that for my Kuki, my Toma, and my Nilu, definitely. Definitely gonna be going in that domain. Um, but the thing is like, I'm not so sure about this set. Like if I don't get, I don't have Shao, and if I don't get Skara, then I don't really have a reason to get this. I could give it to Heizo, I guess, but I don't really play Heizo. What well, gives me a reason to play Heizo? See, if that's the thing, if I... I'll probably do, like, at least one temple. If I get Skara, cool. I, I, I'm happy with that. Um, but if I get a Faruzan, then that gives me a reason to play Heizo more, I guess, so it's not too bad, but... If I don't get Faruzan, then this is kind of pointless. <laughs> like, there's no reason for me to get this. Which means farming this is gonna suck. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know if it's worth it, honestly. Like, is it really worth it? My my Nilu and my Kuki already hit, like, trucks with their blooms and hyper blooms, man. Is it really worth it? Like, it's not really worth it, right? Going through all that RNG howl just to get, like, a little bit of a DPS boost? Because Gilded is- my, mine's 4-piece Gilded. And that's fine, right? Like, um... And her sets are all really, really good. Hold on, let me, um... Let me show you guys real quick. 4-piece Gilded is fine, because that's giving her, like, a hundred... A hundred EM. In most cases, sometimes 180, 150. Sorry, because she's uh, in high in uh, high bloom teams. She's um, with two different elemental characters. But if she's in like an aggravate team, she's getting 100 EM. She's getting a lot of EM already. So her hyper blooms hit like 33k most of the time, around that. 
that's like the average amount and that's a lot and you're doing two hyper blooms per tick so you're doing 66k per reaction with Kuki. Ri she's a ridiculously good character. And I don't know if it's really worth like trying to get EM pieces all over her again, you know? Like, is that really worth it? Just for a small DP, well de that depends. I'm gonna wait until TC has figured this stuff out because if it's a huge DPS increase, if it's like 140% on top of that, so her hyperlooms do like 50k or something, then yeah, I probably would. But if it's like, 140% off base, like if it's, for example, like if it's, um, if it's 140% like this, right, is it really worth losing that EM, because EM affects this, right, because it's, it's additive, right, so it adds on to this, is it really worth it, is it really worth it if I've already got a really good gilded set, which does the same job, because it gives EM, and EM more more bloom percent, you know. So, is it really is it really worth it at that point? You know, you, you got you got to think about these things. Like it, it, it's 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 really easy to just fall in the trap and be like, oh, those are that's a lot. I want to go farm that. But at the same time, you got to get the EM pieces all over again, and then the lowest drop rates. You know, it's just I don't know. Like it just seems like a bait, honestly. Like uh, I don't know. If you're a new player, then yeah, go for that. But if you've already got a good Gilded or Wanderer's set, you know, like two piece, two piece, I don't know, something like that, then just stick to what you got, honestly. Like, it's. I don't know, it doesn't seem worth it. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait, definitely. And I think you guys should too. I think you should definitely wait until people figure out the numbers first before you just go ham on this set. Because you gotta farm all the EM again, you know, it's, it's not worth it. It's really not.